us and there is liberty in this meeting in the mighty name of Jesus we declare tonight the enlightenment of the eyes of our understanding in the mighty name of Jesus for we refuse to be under the blinding force of the wicked enemy in the name of Jesus Christ Lord lighten us up may your glory come upon us again may your presence be upon our lives again in Jesus mighty name may you be evident again may you cause us to manifest again in Jesus mighty name lift up someone in this meeting lift up someone watching in the name of Jesus Christ may the cry of someone be heard in the name of Jesus Christ we declare a shift tonight in the name of Jesus Christ blessed be your holy name whom to cook a Jehovah hakuna mwingine kama wewe pokea utukufu wewe bwana tunakupenda na tunakuheshimu na ni kwa jina la Yesu Kristo tunapopata neno tunashukuru na kusema shangwe na vigelegele kwa ye hallelujah 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 Amen. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise be to God. Amen. Praise be to God. Basi bwana apewe sifa. Amen. Amen. Are you happy to be in the presence of God? Ninyi mko na furaha kwa kuwa katika. Ah, if you are happy show, show with a good clap and be joyous and be thankful in the presence of God. Amen. Amen. I'm also happy to be in the presence of God tonight. And I welcome us into this uh, this session of the word. Uh, if it is possible and I know it is possible, just look at someone if you can reach them, uh, smile at them and greet them and welcome them. If they are far, do something, do a gesture as you sit. Basi mkaribie mtu umsalimie kwa kutabasamu uso na unapoketi akisha kwamba umemsalimia mtu katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Amen. Amen. Help me appreciate the team that has been leading us also. Basi msaidie tena pia kuwashukuru kundi ambao wamekuwa kituongoza. With a good clap. Eh pamoja na makofi mazuri. A good clap. Eh makofi mazuri. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless you. Bwana Mungu awabariki. Ah uh, for leading us so well. Kwa kutuongoza vizuri. May the Lord bless all of you for coming. Mungu awabariki nyote kwa sababu ya kuja. You did not come in vain. Amkuja bure tu. Ah uh, I want to thank God for this opportunity. Nataka kumshukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya hii nafasi. I also want to thank the father of the house and mom. Ningependa kumshukuru baba pamoja na mama wa nyumba for being God in in following up with this vision that they were given. Kwa kumtii Mungu kwa kufuatilia haya maono ambayo walipewa. And also giving us opportunities to serve. Na vile vile kwa sababu ya kutupatia nafasi ya kuweza kutumika. We keep growing as we serve. Tunazidi kukua tunapoendelea na kutumika. Amen. Amen. Today has been a great day. I'm also acknowledging the presence of the pastors and leaders and every one of you that came tonight. And those that are watching. May the Lord bless you so much. I'm excited to see you. Amen. Amen. Allow me to proceed to the word and share with us. In the grace of God. And uh, I will be finishing by inviting our pastor, Pastor Mano, to conclude. Amen. Amen. Wow. There's something I did uh, uh, I was teaching on Wednesday. 
Kuna kitu ambacho nilifanya nilipokuwa nafundisha hapa Jumatano. And I believe it uh, it wasn't over. Na naamini ya kwamba haikuisha. And so I will I will push through again and add something. Na hivyo basi nitaisukuma na alafu niongezee kitu. And I know the Lord will help us actualize our visions. Na naamini ya kwamba Bwana Mungu atatupatia kutimiza maono yetu. You know teachings are the sources of instructions of God. Unajua masomo ama mafundisho ni chanzo cha mielekeo ama maangizo ya Mungu. God is in the business of giving instructions. Mungu yuko katika uh, wakati ama mkakati um, wa kupatiana maagizo. For the victory is sealed uh, in the alignment with certain instructions. Kwa sababu ushindi umetua muhuri katika kulijilinganisha na maangizo yale. Gideon is told, I want you to cut that army to this number. Basi Gideon anaulizwa ili akapunguze idadi ya wanajeshi hadi nambari hii. And the lowest number that Gideon didn't think about was 300. Na idadi ya chini ambayo Gideon hakufikiria ilikuwa ni 300. And that 300 fought against the thousands. Na hao 300 basi wakapigana na maelfu. And because the day the horses can be prepared for the day of battle. Victory comes from the Lord. The horse can be prepared for the day of battle. Victory comes from the Lord. When they went down the valley to fight, the 300 routed thousands because the Lord was with them. The beginning of this victory is aligning with instructions. I am always upbeat about knowing what exactly is the Lord meaning when he says one, two, three. Kila wakati mimi udua ushanga wakati bwana na sema moja mbili. I want to really understand what is he saying because I want to see the results that he is saying. Ningependa kuelewa leo na maanisha nini anasema nini kwa sababu ningependa kuona yale matokeo ya kile ambacho anasema. And that's why tonight we are sharing from the the, the, the topic the level of service to God that actualizes visions. The level of service to God. There are levels of service to God. There are people somewhere that say they, they are churchgoers, they love God. They believe they are still serving God. Someone was singing choir some 20 years ago. Go. Possibly they call themselves the servants of God even today. I believe there is a level of service to God. And this is, we want to look at the, the service itself. Uh, Exodus 23. 25 to 26 message. I have examined this scripture and the value and the promise it carries is amazing. It carries every part of the vision that the, our dad gave the areas that we need to see fulfillment. And that's what you will see as we finish reading. Look at this. I want you to go with me. And I want you to listen to it with everything within you. And may the Spirit of God teach us again. But 
you. You will serve your God. And he will bless your food and your water. Of course, they will be there. <laughs> they will be there. I'll, the Lord says, I'll get rid of the sickness among you. You can interpret that one before we go to the, the next. Okay, so maybe Biblia. Nanye mtanitumikia bwana, mtamtumikia bwana Mungu wenu. Naye atakibarikia chakula chako na maji yako. Nami nitakuondolea ugonjwa kati yako. There won't be any miscarriages. Hapata kuwa na mwenye kuharibu mimi. No barren women in your land. Wala wala wanawake ambao ni tasa katika hizi. I'll make sure you live full and complete lives. Nitahakisha kwamba mmeisha maisha makamilifu na maisha ambayo yamejaa. If I check the areas of vision fulfillment. Nikiangalia yale maeneo ya kutimizwa kwa maono. It all lies under com full and complete lives. Yote yapo katika maisha ambayo yamejaa na maisha makamilifu. Is it personal visions is it ministry visions is it family vision is it career vision is it financial is it health even spiritual full and a complete lives I want to submit to us serving God carries every other fulfillment of visions and this is a wonderful promise that everyone should desire to understand what is God saying when he says serving can lead you to live a full and a complete life? Na kila mtu anastahili kutafuta, kujua, kutumika na nini maana haya maisha ambayo ni makamilifu na maisha ambayo meja. What does God mean when he says when we serve, we shall have a full and a complete life. Mungu anamaanisha nini wakati anasema ya kwamba tukimtumikia tutapata kuwa na maisha ambayo yamejaa na maisha makamilifu. So that is now the question tonight. Na sasa basi hilo ndilo swali letu jioni ya leo. You know there is a, a singer a ministry uh, you know a sing, kamba singer who sang Uthai <laughs> You know you know it got to a point I believe in she desired to know how how do we worship? Huyu mwibaji akafika kiwango akataka kujua namna gani ya kuamua kumwabudu. And he sang how how is it done? Na atambue ina uwezo kufanywa namna gani. Amen. Amen. So our question how do we serve to reach full and complete lives? May the Lord open our eyes in a new way. I'll give us some case studies. I have several of them. And uh, the Lord will help us. I will start with Nicodemus. Nicodemus was a guy amongst the Pharisees. The last of the teams to be associated with Jesus. People who could never want to be associated with Jesus. They were against Jesus with everything. So I, I said I, I have drawn I, I draw a picture. I, I want you to, to, to read the picture. How Nicodemus started. How he proceeded. How he upgraded. How he ended uh, serving God. 
And I want you to look at several people that I will mention. And there will be a common LCM. Nicodemus in John 3 verse 1 and 2. Like every new believer, he came to Jesus at night. John chapter 3. There was a man of the Pharisee sect, Nicodemus. He was prominent, he was having the basic things that this life can offer. Basi palikuwa na mtu mmoja wa mafrisayo jina lake ni kodemu mkuu wa wayahudi na alikuwa na uchote ambacho wa ya maisha na waza kupati ya mtu. Late one night, he visited Jesus. Basi usiku mmoja alimtembelea Yesu. He wanted to know. Alikuwa nataka kufujua. And he was asking questions. Na alikuwa anauliza maswali. And his questions were answered. Na maswali yake yalipewa majini. And whatever he did not understand, he proceeded to research in the hideouts. Na chochote haku kibiwa basi, akaenda kukifanya uda utafiti katika maalipaki. He continued researching. Aliendelea kufanya utafiti. Now, so the first part, Nicodemus starts as a silent researcher. I'm a silent searcher. Kwa hivyo, sehemu ya kwanza ni kwamba Nicodemus alianzia kwa kuwa mtafiti msiri, ama wasiri. Every believer should at some point search. Kila mumini ya nasaini kufika mahali na kufanyika mtafiti ama kutafiti. It might be when you started the journey of faith. Inaweza kuwa ni wakati ya nambapo ulianzisha safari ya imani. It might be you started and you have not searched. Inaweza kuwa ulianzisha lakini hunja ufanya utafiti. When you shall know the truth. Utakapofahamu ukweli. The truth is bound to set you free. Ukweli wasaini kukuweka huru. And that aspect of searching is key. Na hiyo dana ya kuchunguza na kutafiti ni nesi. It is set a Pharisee free. Ina mfanya mfarisayo kuwa huru. It is set a non-believer free. Ina mfanya siyamini kuwa huru. It makes someone who could not believe in Jesus to believe in Jesus. Ina musababisha mtu ambaya hakuwa mini na ni Yesu wakanza kuwa huru. Amen. Amen. May God give you revelation. Mungu wa kupatia ufunuo. We cannot go far without knowledge. Atuwezi tukayanda mbani pasipo na marifa. May God give you knowledge in Jesus name. Mungu wa kupatia marifa kwa jina la Yesu. May you get to understand something. Hey. Amen. Amen. If I will see whether I can give an example later. <laughs> when this man continued searching, he started serving. But he did not do it voluminously. He did not do it outrightly. Second level now. John 7 50 message. A secret service. Someone that is serving hidden. At one point the Pharisees were condemning Jesus they wanted to, to, to take him and, and uh, you know, kill him. Nicodemus stood to defend Jesus. In their circles out there. And he was doing it secretly. I want us to read together 50 to 50. Just read with me. You can even read aloud. Nicodemus, one, two, three, go. Nicodemus, the man who had come to Jesus earlier and was both a ruler and a Pharisee, spoke up. 51. Uh -huh. You know, they are mentioning where he is coming from. 51, 1, 2, 3, go. Does our law decide about a man's guilt without first listening to him? 
and finding out what he is doing. Uh huh, 52. But they cut him off. Are you also campaigning for the Galilean? You can, I don't know whether you will. Uh huh, <laughs> Mstari wa msini akawambia uh, uh, akawambia akawambia nikodemu naye ni yule aliyemwendea zamani maana ni mmoja wao mstari wa uh, msina moja je turati yetu humhukumu mtu kabla ya kumsikia kwanza na kujua atendani msina wa wakajibu wakamwambia je wewe nao umetoka Galilaya uh, tafuta ukaone ya kuwa kutoka Galilaya hakutokei nabii now look at this. Uh, Nicodemus is serving God, but secretly, secretly. That is what I call secret service. <laughs> they are serving, but they are doing it secretly. I will explain possibly deeper what that means to us. A time came John 1939 when Jesus died phase 3 when Jesus died there are two men that played a role and everyone we are reading about it everyone Kuna watu wawili ambao walifanya majukumu na kila mtu tunawasoma kwa And one is Nicodemus. Na mmoja wao ni Nicodemus. 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 And the Bible keeps repeating where he is coming from. Na Biblia inazidi kurudia pale ambapo ametoka. May you have a journey. Wewe ukapate kuwa na safari. May you have a journey with God. Ukawe na safari na Mungu. Such that we will you even yourself you will give a journey. Hadi hata pia wewe ukapate safari. Joseph, Yusuf, who was sick and bedridden and could not do anything. Now he's playing the guitar in church. Simon's mother-in-law who was bedridden with fever. Jesus touched her. She woke up and started waiting on them. And the story goes the lady who was bedridden with the fever is now up and moving. She is waiting on the on, on, on Jesus and the disciples. May that be your testimony. Amen. Amen. Who had first come to Jesus at night? Now came in broad daylight. Wale mulikuwa munafikiria fikirieni sasa. Wale mulikuwa munajijazia jazeni sasa. He came in broad daylight. Basi ya kaingia katika nuru ya mchana. These are the guys that Paul belonged to. Kama hao ndiyo watu wambao Paul walikuwa na. Pharisees. Mafarisai. They could kill for the sake of them not to be irrelevant. The Pharisees led by Paul killed believers. At Nicodemus came in broad daylight. This new face, this is the face of serving God that I want to recommend. This is the level that is the reason why we are talking about Nicodemus. Bold and courageous service. 
bold and courageous service to God. Even when out and bought some expensive ointments to anoint the body of Jesus before they buried him. He didn't bother about the risk of coming out in broad daylight. This is the face that I will show us. That when you get here, things begin to answer. Your service to God is not in vain. You begin to see the completeness that God is talking about. Let me show you Joseph Arimathea. John 19:38. Message. He was a secret disciple. So, uh, you can demarcate again. He starts as a secret disciple. Amen. A secret disciple. He was from a team that was not believing in Jesus. He was working with the people that were against Jesus. He was intimidated. Now, that level, look at that. A secret disciple who is intimidated. It means they can even kill, the, kill him. And he stayed secret. When it came to service, he did secret service. <laughs> Luke 2350 NLT. Secret service. Luke 2350. Look at this. He was a good man. In character and the heart. 51. What does he do? When they are about to make a decision to kill Jesus. To make some allegations against Jesus. He had not gone along. Uh, uh, kindly help me with NLT here. This NLT here. He distanced himself from their plans and the actions. But he did not say anything. Uh -huh. Where am I? I'm supposed to be in 2351. He did not agree with the decision and the actions of the other religious leaders. He, he did not just agree. Do you know there are times you agree and you are silent? And this time the guy just did not do it verbally, he was just silent. He served God but secretly. A time came. I believe this is the time. To actualize a vision. Unless we get to that other level. There are so many things that are not yet done. And that will not be done. We are about to forget these guys if they don't do anything. This Joseph and Nicodemus. But thank God they did something. I believe tonight you get the challenge. Mark 15, 42 message. 
Mark 15, mstari wa mbili ya ina ya Biblia message. There is something that this man did. Kuna kitu ambacho huyo mtu alikitea. Third level. Kiwango cha tatu. Uh, Mark 15:42. Marko 15 mstari wa I want us now to read together. Uh, we will read up to 40. Tutasema hapo mbele. Uh, one, two, three, go. This all happened on Friday, the day of preparation, the day before the Sabbath, as evening approached, you know, the death of Jesus. 43. Look at this. Joseph of Arimathea took a. Help me with message, Tafadali. We are in message. I want to show you something that I loved in this scripture. Uh, message. Kindly message. Ah, good. Joseph of Arimathea, read together with me, a highly respected member of the Jewish council came. He was one of the people who lived expectantly on the lookout for the kingdom of God. Working up his courage, he went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Akaenda Yusufu mtu wa Rimadhaya mstahiki, mwenye shima mtu wa baraza la mashauri, naye mwenye anautazamia ufano wa mungu, akafanya ujasiri, akaingia mbele ya Pilato, akawomba mwili wa Yesu. I want you to underline this word working up is courage. Oh my my. Working up is courage. Alifanya alizo alifanya alifanyisha kazi ujasiri wake. Working up is courage. Ufanyisha kazi ujasiri wake. This is the level. Na kiwango ndicho hiki. They say you you know <laughs> this is what we do here. We do in this standard, I work up my courage. Because I want to serve God. Bold and courageous service for God. If we don't get here, we are missing out on Exodus 23. Can I just show you something about this man? Verse 44. And before I read, let me explain something in 43. Going to Pilate is like asking for a knife on your throat. <laughs> It was dangerous. There are the guys that participated in killing Jesus. You now want to decently bury him. There are the people who tried to kill Jesus. Even though he didn't want. How do you now try to show that you are on the side of Jesus? And you are a religious leader. It was a risk. It required someone to work up his courage. This man had done, I read and I realized the tomb that we talk about he himself he prepared for Jesus he prepared for Jesus it was even near Golgotha he did a lot and the rest he did with Nicodemus and they buried Jesus decently. Our challenge has been transiting from secret service to courageous service. When we talk about secret service is when we are not committed. We are still having fear. 
Tungali tuko na uoga. I one time had a guy, you know, when we were growing up, we would send greetings to church, we would send even offerings. Nilipokuwa tunakuwa basi tulikuwa ni jamaa tulikuwa tunatuma sadaka kanisani tulikuwa tunatumanisha salamu. That's how you are not there. You are sending things. Na hivyo basi wewe hapo lakini unatumanisha vitu. And church the kingdom is about hands on. Na kanisa ufalme ni kuhusu kukombolewa. Mikono yako iwe kwa hiyo kitu. Uh -huh. The kingdom is handsome. Uh -huh. You are there. Mikono, uh, mikono you are doing something. Unafanya kitu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. You do it. Unaifanya. It is service. Ni utumishi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. When 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 we we are not consistent secret service wakati sisi sio watu wa kufuatiliza katika utumishi wa kisimu when as in that is secret service eh, when we are not consistent aha, wakati ambapo atuwepo kila wakati tukitumika sasa huo ni utumishi wa siri <laughs> like jesus did jesus know nicodemus was still following <laughs> Kwa mfano kama Yesu yeye akujua kwamba Nikodemo alikuwa anamfuata. Oh, may God help us. Mungu na atusaidie. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. You know I read the story of Apostle Babalola. Nikasoma hadithi yake Apostle Babalola. I listened. Nilisikiliza. An apostle from Nigeria. Ni mtumishi wa kutoka kule Nigeria. He dared witches. He ali, 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 alijaribu wachawi. He told them akawaambia He met them where they usually gathered. Akakutana nao mahali ambapo wanakusanyika. And a certain tree. Eh kwenye mti fulani. And he dared them. Na akawajaribu. He told them I've given you 6 hours. Akawaambia na wapa saa 6 to kill me. Ili mniue. If witchcraft is powerful. Kama uchawi basi una nguvu. And he took a seat. Na akachukua kiti. And he sat. Akakaketi somewhere. Mahali near where they were gathered. And he kept checking the watch. He kept checking the watch. After five hours, he was still alive. He was still checking the watch. <laughs> After six hours, he told them, now stop. He said something and the fire came. Today, the people of that place believe when you mention Apostle Paul, you should mention Apostle Babalola there. Babalola. You should, he is in the same category. You know, they took pictures. And they took pictures of fire that has come from heaven that has not been lit. And it consumed the people there. And the tree was consumed. And those people saw God like the days of Elijah. God is the same yesterday. God is the same today. God will be the same forever. The things he did with that generation, he can do it today. And he needs someone that is sold out. Courageous. Working up is Ujasiri wake. Kazi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. You know we can't be fearing. We can't stay in fear. Fear and the faith don't operate the same. In the same wavelength. We need Babalolas today. I charge you to make some bold move for God. You, you will see God. You will see a fulfillment. You will see God do something. Amen. There are some prayers you can pray. 
that are only for people of courage. <laughs> you know, I was saying on, on, on Wednesday, in Nigeria they call services, even midnight services. And the midnight services are attendant. Who wants to be a pushover to witches? Basi tutatokea. Tutatokea. Yes. Na tumeolewa na tumeoa. Na saa sita tuko hapo. Shako tarama. Maseketeka. Roto kosaba. In the name of Jesus. Sasa niambia kama hiyo ni level ya weekly. It can never be. Haiwezi kuwa ya watu wabawa ni naifu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Do you know even I'm about to dare us. You need to be waking up some odd hours. <laughs> Work up your courage. If you want to see God, God is waiting for someone who is working up their courage. They tell the devil, You knew me yesterday. Now I am different. By the courage that I exude. And for sure, you are different. You know, I, I read. Bishop Sam Maingi's book that explains the difference between a partner and a member. And I thought this is what we need. I read a portion. And he said a partner is different from a member. A partner, a partner looks for what they will give. A member looks for what they will receive. By that, at, at that point, is Nicodemus and Joseph partner or member? Are they partners or members? Nicodemus and Joseph are members. Ongea sana kama uongopi. Ongea sana tena. They look at what can I give. Wanatafuta nini anaweza nini anaweza kutoa. They look at how can I add value. Wanatazamia ni nini ndio dhamani gani anaweza kuongezea. Partners. E wale wahusika. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Partners are pillars. They add value. They are contributors. I want you to change your mind tonight. Work up your courage and change your mind. You can decide. Uh, I will be wiping the chairs as a partner. When you, when you serve from that level, your, le your service is different. You are a contributor. You are not just waiting to receive, you are giving. You are not just waiting to feel good, you are making others feel good. Amen. Amen. If you get it, say amen. And this is the prayer point that I'm, I'm, I'm using. Because I saw this thing in pillars, Galatians 2.9. And I love the way Kiswahili says. In fact, this is my prayer point. You know, Kiswahili says, Galatians 2.9, you can bring, um, you can bring NIV, you can bring which other version. 
Let me check. Galatians 2.9. KJV, that is the word I'm, I'm remembering. Yes. KJV says, look at this. KJV, KJV. And if you can highlight, this is the place where we, are, we, we live and pray for, uh, to, to receive grace from. Look at this. James, Kephas, and John seemed to be pillars. Jacobo, Kefa, na Johanna, wao, wenye sifa kuwa nenguzo. In Kiswahili, there is a Kiswahili of mine that said something. Let me check my... In, in, in essence, as I look for that, think about seemed to be pillars. Fikiria hilo neno kuonekana kuwa nguzo. Imagine Jesus being left to rot on the tree. There are needed people who seemed to be pillars. Hebu fikiria Yesu akiachwa pale msalabani afie pale na alafu Aoze pale. Aoze pale. Tulitaji watu wanaka nguzo. Mike Zoeli says, oh yes, wenye sifa kuwa ni nguzo. Wenye sifa kuwa ni nguzo. Kuna watu na kuna wapendo kwenye nyumba ya buwana. Wenye sifa kuwa ni nguzo. They can be Nicodemus. It can be Joseph of Arimathea. They shall live complete lives. There are things they will not pray for. Because they have worked up a courage to operate in a certain level. This English here. When it says seemed to be pillars, Sasa inaposema, kuwa kama nguzo. my point, my thinking is when people look at you, ni watu kuzama, have you ever asked yourself when people look at me, watu do I seem to be a pillar? Mimi that is my prayer point. Sasa ma, uh, point yangu ya hiyo. When people see me, watu God may help me Mungu that people will see me seem to be a pillar. Watu mimi kama nguzo. Yani nikawe nguzo. Mbaka hata nikionekana, watu wanaona nguzo ya hiyo uduma. Are you getting the point? Napata hiyo point. How many of us want to see the fulfillment of Exodus 23, 26. <laughs> you know, there are people we left. How many of us want to see fulfillment? Raise up Vizuri. Amen. Now, we need to be pillars. And I want you as you pray, think about your service. When the servant of God says, I want this. Pillars are there. And there is something pillars can do. Whether supervised or not. I want to be a pillar. God opened my eyes to see how I can be a pillar. I don't want to serve God and suffer. Pillars won't suffer. Pillars, kuna watu wambao kwa dunia hii awange kuwa na pesa. Awange faa kuwa na pesa. Lakini kwa sababu ya utumishi, Mungu analeta pesa kwa. Yaani awange kuwa na pesa, lakini kwa sababu ya ile wa, vile wamejifanya channel ya utumishi. Mungu anaachilia pesa kwa. There are such people. Na ni wengi sana wale wamejitoa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kuna watu wasumbuani na magonjwa kwa sababu ya utumishi. According to that one. 
Bwana Yesu asifiwe. I'm not saying anything. I'm just I want us to apply the word. Basi ningependa tukatumie neno. And that is the challenge to us. Mi hata mimi nahitaji. Na sasa hiyo ndio changamoto kwetu hata pia mimi ninataka. I want you to arise. Kwa hivyo ningependa tusimame. And before Pastor Mano comes. Na kabla mchungaji kuja. I want you to think about being a pillar. Ningependa ufikirie wewe ukifanyika nguzo. Being a Nicodemus. Eh kufanyika Nicodemus. Anatumia pesa yake. He is using his own resources. Ana anatengeneza kaburi. Anafanya hiki na azemi wewe as in that is Joseph. Joseph alifanya mambo mingi, huyu mwingine alifanya kitu fulani. Hawako sema tungawane. Hata hawako sema mimi nikifanya hii ah hata walikuwa wanakimbizana na hizo hizo kazi. Walikuwa wanazikimbiza. Anakimbia kwa pilet. Anarudi sio anafanya nini? Alinunua line ni cloth. Ni there. There is something they did. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. I want you to be to receive the challenge tonight. Hayo basi ningependa upokee hiyo changamoto. Nataka tu uinue sauti yako kwa Bwana. Mwambie Mungu akusaidie jioni ya leo. I want I want the help from God. I will not just be 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 in the house of God and not suffer and as in not serve the way I should serve. I need help. I need to be a pillar. I need pillars. May God raise pillars in this house. May people receive the promise of Exodus 23, 25 and 26 in the name of Jesus. May this be our night. May there be fulfillment of the word of God, of visions in the name of Jesus. As someone takes up the challenge, as someone does a, a courageous move, may someone make a bold move to serve God in a new level in the name of Jesus. May you oh God find people in our midst find us Lord as courageous people that are making a move for the kingdom that are sacrificing for the kingdom that are not just normal that are not just members but are partners in the name of Jesus may this be our night may there be a transfiguration in the mighty name of Jesus open your mouth cry to God may there be a change tonight in the name of Jesus may there be a change you can arise from every intimidation usiwe kwa chini na watu kata intimidation royal intimidation tunakufunga jioni ya leo kwa jina la Yesu royal woga tunakukata katika jina la Yesu we bind every spirit of fear in the name of Jesus we confess we have not received the spirit of fear we have received the spirit of love a sound mind and and the and the courage and the power in the name of Jesus cry to God tonight rakosa katala mekazaka yado ila kosayata matokosaya in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus as we receive pastor kindly keep praying keep praying keep praying keep praying in the name of Jesus keep praying keep praying god can help you you will not just stop you will not just stop where you are like nicodemus may god give you the next move may god give you the courage may god help you in the name of jesus in the name of jesus karibu pastor thank you jesus inua mikono yako mbele za bwana usiku wa leo tukimwambia hiyo impartation ya kupandisha kiwango chetu cha utumishi ili tuka actualize our vision ikawe ni sehemu yetu usiku wa leo bwana tunaamini neno lako ambalo tumelisikia usiku wa leo bwana asante kwa kutumia mtumishi wako ili akatufanye kuinua imani yetu hata katika utumishi bwana ninakuomba usiku wa leo ukafikie mpendwa ambaye amefika kwa nyumba ambaye amesikia neno lako ya kwamba bwana ili bwana maono yetu yakafikia yakatimie 
Bana tukawe watumishi ambao wanakubalika mbele yako. Ninakushukuru kwa sababu we are getting out of secret following. Secret service to courageous and active service in the name of Jesus. We refuse to follow you from a distance. That we want to follow you from the front in the name of Jesus. To nakata kila rawa woka, kila rawa kushindwa, kila rawa wakutuvuta nyuma. Na kuamua usiku wa leo ya kwamba ujasiri ambao ulikuwa na watumishi wako ambao uliinua kiwango chao wakawa pillars in the kingdom that is going to be our portion tonight bana ninakutukuza ninasema ni asanti usiku wa leo tunakushukuru na tunasema ni asanti tunapokea nguvu mpya usiku wa leo bana hata tukitarajia kuvuka mwaka huu tutamaliza kwa nguvu kwa sababu umefungua macho yetu na yanaanza kuona makuu ambayo yako mbele yetu kwa sababu ya utumishi kwa sababu ya kujipeana kwako katika jina la Yesu Kristo bana tunakushukuru na tunasema ni asanti tunakushukuru kwa ajili ya kila mmoja ambaye alifika kwa ibada ya leo bwana ninaomba ukatutendee wema bwana vile uliwaahidi wana wako katika exodus that has they serve you long life shall be our portion diseases and failure and defeat will not be our portion barrenness will not be the portion of anyone who has had your word tonight but we shall be productive tutakuwa na mazao kazi zetu zitakuwa na uzao familia zetu zitabarikiwa chakula chetu kitabarikiwa maji yetu yatabarikiwa ye vitu vile vyote ambavyo tunafanya zitabarikiwa kwa sababu ya utumishi bana ninakutukuza na ninasema ni asanti. Bariki mtumishi wako ambao wameleta neno. Bwana ukamwongeze zaidi hata ufunuo wa neno lako. Ninakushukuru na ninasema ni asanti. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo tumeomba na kuamini. Amen. Amen. Amen.